Have you enjoyed this? Yes. Super. Why are we here? Why? Rotary and Rotaract has a problem. What is that problem? Membership, retention. That's particularly acute in North America. And so why are we here? To address that problem. We need less gray hairs and more brown hair in Rotary. There's many things that are happening in the world of Rotary. But before I go there, I often use this analogy in terms of uh, what can make Rotaract success successful. And I use the analogy of Major League Baseball. Why? Because in any sports team, particularly baseball, the teams that are successful are the teams that invest in their infrastructure. They invest in their young people. They invest in training. They invest in their farm team. You are the farm team. Early Act, Interact, Rotaract. We hear a lot about ro youth is the future of Rotary. Is that real or is that a slogan? That's yet to be determined. And from my perspective, both at the district level and on the global level, if that's really the reality, then there are two things that are necessary. The investment of human capital and financial capital. And what do I mean by that? So we, we need to bring together all of the people that are in on the district level that work with young people and come together and bring all of our skills together to impart to the young people what they're looking for. Mentorship, leadership, inspiration, guidance. We need to give them that human capital. Then we need to, pour, we need to put finances behind that. What do I mean by that? Well, we have pets for the leadership of Rotary, why can't we do the same thing for Rotaract and Interact? Why can't we have the new generation's Rotaract pets that they come, when they do pets, bring along Rotaractors to the pets and do training? Train them. They need the resources. So we need to give them those resources at the district level and at the global level. We need to make that commitment. Governor. Fusco has uh, had discussions about creating a new generations committee. Hopefully that we will be moving forward with that shortly, where we'll identify those members in Rotary in our district who have a commitment to young people, will come together and bring those resources together. So that's why we're here. What's my role as the Rotaract chair for the district? It is to bring a vision to what Rotaract can be and what can be accomplished to help inspire. That's my job, to go out and inspire the presidents, inspire the sponsoring clubs, inspire the advisors, and give them the resources and the tools that they need. So this training here is tonight for the advisors, but we need to do the same thing for the Rotaractors, to provide them specific training. We need to do that for the sponsoring clubs. We need to do that for the advisors. So I hopefully we will be able to uh, do a sur some survey monkeys in terms of the skills and resources and trainings that each of you feel you need and want. And then you have to identify and then we have to deliver. That's our job. That's the job of the district. Now, some of the things that I'd like to, that I see happening is that there be inter, that the left and the right hand know each other. We have district Rotaract clubs, but do they know each other? Do they interact with one another? So that, that they could do things like, we talked about Google Docs, perhaps maybe all of the, minute, the minutes of each meeting, it could be in a Google Doc, and so each club can know what's going on with other clubs. And you might, then you might find common ground on common projects. And then you can come together and do an inter-district project between the Rotary clubs. And then um, you talked about national, international relationships. That's my wheelhouse. I do international mission work and I travel globally. And wherever I go, I go to a local Rotary meeting and a local Rotaract club. As a result of that, and it's, it's been, we've made connections with the Rotaract clubs in Kenya. And they have, they desperately want to have a relationship with a US club. And as a result of that, um, there are three clubs in Kenya. And I sent out to all the presidents 
and it's been successful, the MIT Club has made a partnership with a Rotaract Club in Kenya. And they're, work, they're working together now to identify a potential project that they can do. So these things are real. And my goal is that each Rotaract Club in our district, if they want an international partner, that they will have an international partner. And you have, within your campuses, you have an abundance of potential relationships and grants by the diversity that exists on your campuses. Bring in people from the different nations that they're all from. You have from Philippines, from Kenya, those students. Bring them in and say, there's an opportunity here. Come work with Rotaract. You can, we can help you. So bring in the, if you can bring that diversity metric in, you'll find a lot of opportunities. And schools like WPI, they have built in, whether you have your qualifying projects, they're a wonderful resource for identifying projects. Same thing exists at MIT, and we're trying to bring that together. Victor Tom, unfortunately Victor wasn't here tonight, but Victor is working on developing that. So these are the things I like to see happen. Um, and just, just a real, and I, th and I think to sum this up, I think the advisors is two things that are extremely important. You have to be passionate and you have to be committed because these young people are sharp and if you really aren't passionate and you really aren't committed they're going to see through you and they're not going to believe in you you got to walk the walk and talk the talk this is the reality of it All right. any questions I'd like to close with um, Everyone has in their package, there's a little thing about what it means to be a volunteer. Everyone could take maybe two or three minutes to read that and just have an open discussion about what it means. Because I think this gets to the crux of the issue of why we're here tonight. Because it kind of turns on its head what it means to be a volunteer. Anyone, anyone need or else set? So if you're being honest, was that your perspective of what it meant to be a volunteer? No. No? Why? from a student perspective. I was thinking more on the level of the advisors and the Rotarians. Yeah, I think one thing that stood out from that was document is that you say yes to something and you do take on responsibility, whether you're Rotaract or Rotary. You take on responsibility and people will expect you to carry out and do that. But things are gonna change, you know, you'll have um, a new business partner, you have exams, and then all of a sudden you feel overwhelmed. But oftentimes it seems that people kind of brush off that responsibility. Instead of completing it, they just sort of forget about it and don't tell anyone. But the right thing to do is to just simply ask for help. Because if you don't utilize your team and you don't delegate tasks to ask for help when it's needed, it's just things aren't going to get done, and that's an issue. Did you have? It was the delegation. But to know that it's really important that you don't have to do everything, that if you delegate wisely and hold people accountable, that team really can accomplish everything. So I think that that's really important. The other thing that I got from this is, and I personally have a very hard time saying no. I, it's not even something that comes out of my mouth. But it's important to know what you need to say. volunteering on a high level and burning out. So I think perhaps learning how to say no right now, you know, and then coming back, regrouping, re refreshing yourself is important. And we need to role model that too. So I think both ways are it's super. Really important. Bob? Well, Kyle, you mentioned earlier, uh, you had a great analogy about baseball, a baseball team, because 
it's also about the people you have on the bench, too, that you bring in. Uh, well, recently, we had a treasurer that uh, couldn't fulfill his role after being the treasurer for several months uh, due to some work complications. And uh, we inducted a new treasurer, and sure, sure enough, he got, he got injured, uh, injured his ankle, and had to go in for surgery. So he's out, too. So we're having someone else take on that role as well. But it's about the volunteers in the club that stand up and say, what can I do? How can I help? Give me some direction. Super. Any other comments? <coughs> Where do you say a club president should not have to do every job in the club? It's true. But it's the job of the president as the leader to instill in the volunteers the importance of doing their job being careful to watch that they're not having trouble, that they don't need to be. You, you, as the president of the club, you have to be the person who's not doing every job, but on top of every job, and making sure that every, vo and if a volunteer needs training or needs help, needs some, some little push or to be replaced, that you're the person that, that has to do it. So you're not going to do every job, but boy, you have to be on top of it all. Awareness. Thank you. If you could take time now to do it, uh, the, the last questions were, were your expectations met tonight? And if they were, why? If they were not, why they weren't? So because we're going to build on f tonight for future trainings. So your help would be greatly appreciated if you could take a few thoughtful moments to write some thoughtful comments. And before we Thank you to the audience because presentations are no good without a good audience. I, I have season tickets to theater and I claim that I'm one of their best members of the audience. <laughs> so I want to give a special shout out and thanks to Jim Fusco because he's stepped up to the plate and he's led and he's put his actions behind his words. Well, thank you very much. And Thank you, everyone. It's been, you know, as I said, when I took over as district governor on the 1st of July, I didn't know what I had in store for me. But I had a lot of visions of things that I wanted to do, and teamwork is what it's about. We've accomplished many, many things so far in my term, but it's nothing that I did. It's my team. So the team's got to be behind you. You know, I thank everyone that's on the team. Thank Carl and everyone else. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to a real successful Rotaract year. Thank you. And the man behind the camera. Thank you, Steve. I couldn't do this without him. He's my right-hand man. <laughs>